Good morning, everyone. Emily here. I am just getting ready to go into Walmart, and um, I'm really curious to see what the yarn aisle looks like. I haven't been here in a few weeks, and so um, I'm going to try to do a little Christmas shopping and look at the yarn aisle. So let's go in. It's so beautiful here today. They said this is the last nice day that we're going to have for a while. So I thought I better get out. So we're here in Walmart and you can see here that, you know, this used to be a full aisle of yarn. But the last time I was here, they didn't hardly have anything on the shelf. And it looks like now they do have a little bit, but it does look pretty bare. I got me a red here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty well picked through. Wow. I just wanted to get one. I really don't need any yard at all, but you know how it is when you go, you got to get one, even if you don't need it. <laughs> and even if you don't know what you're going to do with it. These colors are really pretty. I really like this. Be a pretty hat. Yeah, it looks like they had some on sale. Pretty clear. Pretty cleared out. Hi everyone, Emily here. I started my video going to Walmart. Um, I didn't go to any other stores with yarn. I went to Target, but they don't have yarn at Target here in Des Moines, Iowa, or Ankeny, Iowa. So I am going to show you, because I'm ready to wrap all my blankets that I made for Christmas, and Kaylee, my granddaughter, is going to hold up one that I made, and I'm not going to say who they're for, because um, I just don't want to do that yet, because they haven't opened their presents. Now, this one I did do a tutorial on. Can you step closer, baby, please? Yeah. And you can see where I started a different uh, skein, but besides that middle part, it all it all came out really nicely. And this is um, like a a feather stitch, and it's really pretty. I really love it. So let's go to the next one, Kaylee. This one I made with yarn from the Dollar Tree. She loves this one. And um, they're all lap blankets, so they might not be too wide, but I wanted to make them nice and long so that when they're sitting in their chair, they could have like movie night. And I just wanted to do this in different colors with some white stripes in between just to make it a little bit uniformed. But um, I did this in um, the moss stitch, which you all know, if you watch my videos, is my most favorite stitch of all. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And so that one, I made that one. And then I made a baby blanket. I did do a tutorial on this one. Can you hold it this way, honey? Oh, yes, Thank you. Um, this is a mile a minute. And it has hearts on here that I did. And then I sewed it together with this yarn with sparkles. And so I really like it. It's really pretty. And even the back side. Show the other side, sweetie looks really good and the white trim that I did on the outside it it has sparkles in it so it's really pretty my next one it is made out of Premier that one's really long for a tall person and um, you can help her Cameron so you can see I used uh, just different colors of all the Premier so I had two of the green, I had one of that color on the top, and then I just had a little bit of this one, and then I went around with the front back stitch. I love gaudy, I don't know why, I just can't do anything in the same color. Well, I think um, my um, New Year's resolution is going to be that maybe I do some blankets that they have some kind of color combination. But that's just a personal one. Okay, honey, you want to grab the next one? It's my granddaughter, Cameron. Now this one, I did a tutorial and it started in January of 2022. And each day I did 
one of these stitches so that you could follow along. This one um, is really pretty. It's one of my favorites just because it has so many different things. And, you know, I just love so much color. And then I went around with a double border. Um, I went around once with a single crochet. And then I crocheted in the back loops and in the front loops. And then sewed them together here on that side. So the, the, um, this is very thick. But this is really long and big because, can you hold it up? Because yeah. I just wanted, um. It just have all different stitches, all different colors. So if you like this blanket and want to make one, I know um, my friend Stacy made one. So my next one I have, um, I did do a show and tell on this blanket. I got it from um, Crochet by Robin. And that's where I got the pattern. And then I just did my colors myself. I think she's having way too fun showing this off. And uh, hold it up, honey, please. Okay. And uh, you could see how beautiful all the different colors are. And then I went around an extra around with the maroon. And then for the border, I did my own, own border and just did different stitches. So this one came out really good. That is all the blankets that I um, am getting ready to wrap for Christmas. Um, I made a lot of hats and scarves for Christmas. I made fingerless gloves for Christmas. I made a lot of things, but that... Those are all the blankets that I made, and I just wanted to show you. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Enjoyed this little show and tell. It's nice and short, and I will be back soon. Thank you. Bye.